Welcome back to Modern Salon TV. I'm TJ Hughes. And I'm Trevor Deneen. Last episode, we went inside the mind of one of hairstyling's leading innovators. Toured a winning space in salon decor and design. And highlighted the top looks of Naha's contemporary classic category. This episode, we show you how natural curls can still find use for a curling iron. Showcased a host of hot Hollywood summer styles. As well as a wedding do that's sure to wow. Can girls with curls really benefit from a curling iron? Absolutely, if you ask Brittany of Amika. And here's her demo to back the claim. My name is Brittany Moshe, and I'm an educator with Amika. And today I will be demonstrating how your clients with naturally curly hair can still benefit from a curling iron. This is Charlene. Today, she has a couple of unruly curls. What you would typically do is try to put some product on it to pull it together. But here, all we have to do is take a piece, no brush necessary, wrap it, hold for about three or four seconds, and let it go. It looks just like the rest of her curls, but it pulls the style together a little bit more. You just kind of go around the head and find the pieces that are being unruly, pull it right together, release it. And as you see, you're still getting the same type of curl that she already has on, your he on her head all the way down, so it doesn't look very much different. Hollywood's rising temperatures have raised the bar of star style. Whether it's chopping, buzzing, or simply coloring, high-profile stars are ditching their dues for new summer looks. Let's take a look at a few of the more dramatic ones we've seen. There's quite a few. I'm not sure if they're memories or old footage. Bye-bye Blondie. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen have stuck to their signature blonde hues for much of their careers, with the exception of Mary-Kate's short-lived red face. But she recently debuted a new chocolate brown style on the red carpet, around the same time news broke of a new relationship with French President Nicolas Sarkozy's brother. New bow, new brown locks. Coincidence? You know the bed feels warmer. On the flip side, Kelly Clarkson takes a walk on the brighter side this summer as she transitions into a blonde again. She's kept close to her natural darker shades since a stint as a platinum blonde in 2006 and a few playful ombre looks in between. But perhaps platinum is a better blonde for Kelly. Modern Facebook fans suggested some toning and glazing work for this new look. Mr. Ryan Seacrest, Nick Jonas here. So hot. While Mary Kate and Kelly were experimenting with color, two other stars were experimenting with a trimmer. Curly haired Nick Jonas of the Jonas Brothers shed his beloved curls for a cleaner, mature buzz cut. Maybe he's just trying to stay cool for the summer like many of your male clients. The biggest style shock of the season so far came from summer blockbuster queen Charlize Theron. After the red carpets for her two hit movies were over, Charlize was spotted with her shoulder length blonde hair neatly tucked underneath a hat. Or so we thought. The star also tangoed with a trimming tool for a cleanly shaved look, but for an upcoming movie role. What do you think of these stars' new looks? Tell us on Modern's Facebook page at facebook.com slash modernsalon. This segment is brought to you by Aveda. Submit your video in Aveda's You Share contest and you can find yourself under the Modern Salon Spotlight, as well as win an all expenses paid trip to New York City. Get the details by clicking Aveda Contest on the Community Videos tab or going to the link below. Prom may have passed, but wedding season has sprung into high gear. So Amanda De Gregorio of Hair Gallery Salon and Spa of Southbridge, Massachusetts, shares the 2012 chignon that's perfect for the big day. Hey everyone, I'm here with Amanda D. Gregorio of Hair Gallery Salon and Spa in Southbridge, Mass. We are here because Amanda just did seven freaking amazing updos for prom season. And I wanted to find out how she did this. Number one, great job. And I know we're kind of catching her a little bit of a surprise. She feels she's not dressed for this, but we think she looks great. This is our favorite look. And tell us exactly how you created this. So what I did to Margot's hair was I just loosely curled all of it. I did all of her hair curly. And then I took um, a section up at the top and I clipped up above the occipital. And I put the bottom half of the hair in a loose bun and kind of fanned out the hair up top. And then what I did was I started taking out each sections of the hair and I kind of twisted them and then bobby pinned them in place underneath the bun and did opposite side each side. I rotated each way. And then when I got to the top, I kind of pulled out some pieces of hair that she wanted out, braided the sides, and then tucked them underneath the bun. Also, I did another one on the other side. I did two in front that she wanted and just left out wispies, kind of just curled out, pulled out hair a little bit wherever she wanted it to make it look messy. And then with the ending hair over here, I kind of just 
fanned it out and made a made a little circle and bobby pinned it all around and basically just made it look messy and that's about it and these uh you were telling me that the bobby pins are deliberately showing yes i just think it makes it look more i don't know more messy-ish kind of but it's just just showing where they place don't blink because next up we have a how-to that will not only turn heads it'll lock eyes Janelle Giesen of Aveda brings us this demo on how to create the perfect eye contour using shadow. Hi, I'm Janelle Giesen, Global Artistic Director for Aveda Makeup. So one question I always get from people is how I make that contour really soft and really blended. So one way you could do it is actually do it with your eyes open and softly just follow the bone and that will be your guide. I like to do it with the eyes open because it really gives you a clear idea where that contour is rather than when you close your eyes, close your eyes, sometimes you can't really see where it is. So you can start there if you'd like, but then make sure when you open your eyes is that you follow that natural contour because you want to go slightly above it. Another thing to remember is have the right brush. So using a contour brush that's beveled will really give you that bevel, that contour feel that you want, not a hard edge. It's all about creating a soft edge, and especially in this look, which is all very soft. It's strong, but soft at the same time. Last but not least, we bring you an interview with one of the industry's biggest talents, Creighton Bowman. After styling Glee's Diana Agron at New York City's Met Ball, the Oscars of fashion, he gladly shared the inspiration behind his creation. Hi, this is Creighton Bowman. I'm here today at New York City's Met Ball Gala. I just finished doing Diana Agron's hair, which was a real treat. Um, our look tonight was inspired by Carolina Herrera's dress, which was very modern with a plunging neckline. So we sort of decided to go for this 1940s disheveled elegance. To keep the look modern, I partnered up with Renee Furterer, who helped me create a texture and a shine that makes it more modern and not something that is so sleek and reminiscent of the 40s, giving it a much more modern edge. My secret weapon is always dry shampoo. Uh, to complete the look, we pinned it up and back to sort of create a faux asymmetrical bob, and I used one of Carolina Herrera's jewels to pin everything up, which really completed the look. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, sharing Modern Salon TV is easy. Just click the share icons on the screen. Until next time, here are some of your favorite industry faces. Hey, we're here in Orlando. I'm Dean, and this is Brig. Brig, what are you going to do when you get back to Los Angeles? Duh, Dean. Watch the next episode of Modern, Modern Salon, Salon TV. TV. Snap! <laughs> All right, Timmy. We just finished the shoot, and I'm just thinking to myself, what should we do now? Let's go get petties and watch Modern Salon Modern TV. Modern Salon TV. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Palma. I'm from Toronto, Canada. How you doing? My name is Lamar Watkins, also known as L.A. the Barber. How you doing? My name is George Sierra, also known as G. the Barber Wheels. And you're watching Modern, Modern TV. TV. <laughs>